Welcome back everybody to Pumpkin Days. This is episode 102 with Zora and we are Millie and it's an even day. We're going to go and do a few things. I've got a list beside me of things that I said we needed to do. Uh, so we're going to go do that. Man, I hope I slept otherwise I'm going to be in a world of hurt. That cow's just parked itself in the middle of my, <laughs> in the middle of my floor. Don't. <laughs> Rude cow. Alrighty. Um. I had Pride of Madeira for Kaishan actually down on my list as things I needed to do. So we are going to go do that. I'm actually going to call these animals inside, hopefully before it hits 11 o'clock, because I don't want poop in my lounge room. Rude cow. Go inside. Radio. Right, I, I was worried about them. I'm just going to make sure they're all fed. Yeah, they look good. Uh, we are going to uh, go in here. And just see if there's any poop sacks that need to be processed. Wow. Before I go anywhere, I've got to do a few things, don't I? And I've got a jam processor. That's the other thing. Black bear ears. Hey, Zora, let's have a look at your ears. You know what? I'm actually going to keep those on because they're kind of cute. Alrighty. Oh, man. And that's right. It was my birthday and people gave me a ton of stuff. Whoa. Okay. We were looking for raw steel. So there, there was a couple of things we wanted to do. We want to um, head on up to Diamond Falls. Uh, we want to get some raw steel for... Raw steel for Clara. Uh, we're going to check at Lake Deer for that. I also wanted to have a look at the chest in the Stalignites area that we looked at last episode. And the Diamond Falls maze, which is... There's two. There's one at the foot of the mountain, but there's one above the mountain. That's the one we want to go see. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might give ourselves a little bit of room in here. Just going to throw all the things away. Because I was going to go to the museum and drop off some of these juicy little bone things that we got here, but maybe not. All right, polished petrified wood. Oh, didn't I? I think I did give that already. Wait, did I just throw a bunch of bones in here? I did. Come here. They shouldn't be in there. All right, let's sort these up. Check in here for things like, okay, the raw steel we actually do want to keep on us. Let's just sort this out. There we go. Ooh, and I've got a ton of stuff in here, all of which is worth a fair amount of cash. And I'm thinking we might actually sell it. I know, but I like the black bunny plushie. That's kind of cool. I need a shelf to put my plushies on. Alrighty, see what's going to happen to my poor little plushie. It's going to end up in a chest until I can work out what to do with it. Oh boy, got to deal with those. So black bunny plushie and a grey elephant plushie. There you go in there. Let's go and have a look in our crafting cupboard. Ooh, that's not a crafting cupboard. I oh, know, I don't know what Sebastian, not Sebastian, <laughs> Kane thinks. Man. Muddling my games up real good now. All right, we're going to keep the Pride of Madeira on us because, because that is our thing for Kaishan. I'm just going to throw the Pride flowers in here. I do need to give one up to the museum, though. These are our prize T-shirts, which I've forgotten how we got them now. I'm going to have to work that out and do, a, do an episode or three on it. All righty, what have we got? I oh, know, the cat. I, no, it wasn't the cat. <laughs> It was Lisa for my birthday. She gave me a spider. I don't know if I like her anymore. Oh, I couldn't be mad at her. These are pretty, aren't they? We could we could place them on the table. We could place a ton of things on the table. I know this is the health health food household. jar just put that put two of them I reckon we can fit them both in here and cookies are good if we if we hang on to them okay I'm wrong let me just pick that up where's my cookie jar I know there's something very cathartic about putting these things in here gee snapped to grid um I wonder if Kane has a sweet tooth. 
No, I think we've already ascertained he doesn't really. Okay, these things are really good for gifts. Um, we could go on a gift giving spree. Do you think people will get upset if I give them back stuff that they gave me? I I'm not sure about the fruitcake roll. So, for instance, it's worth 100G. These things are worth 120, 150. There's quite a large amount of stuff. Actually, you know what? We want to put these things on the table because they're cute. Look at this. This is the cat cake. Let's grab that again and we'll just rotate it. I mean, how cute is that? Uh, you know what, I think I might just put them all on the table. There, they, there we go. The dino cake. Because I haven't really actually taken the time to see. <laughs> that is gorgeous. He looks like he's up for mischief, that dinosaur. There's a unicorn cake. Let's have a look at that. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, I get it now, kind of. You know, it almost looks like we're in for a party, doesn't it? This looks just classic chocolate drippery. Yeah, you know, we, we have to, if we had a party where the guests would come and actually eat what was on the table, that'd be kind of cool. I know. All right, I, I'll stop messing about now. We'll, we'll pop all those in. We need to go put the jam processor bucket in the jam processor shed thing. It's past 11 o'clock too, so I might let the animals back out because they will have all pooped in their stalls. There we go. Now they'll be happy. Pat the kitty. Hey, Tiger, what did you do to my dog? <gasps> I can hear him, but I can't see him. Tiger, what did you do to the, pu the puppy? Rude. Alrighty, let's, um, let's get a bit of shoveling on, shall we? There we go. See, it's nice. We can get this cleaned up in the same day that it was deposited. Nice. There we go, guys. One nice clean stable. That's right. I was thinking of um, of getting Duante to build me a new stable, a new uh, shed. We should we should do that. I just need to go get some timber. Blossom, you're allowed out now. Man, that pigger. Alrighty. So I do have enough, good enough to make it out of orange wood planks. Let's do that. That's going to be cute. Uh, yeah, it would be cuter if I actually would put it into my thing. It's 15.03. Let's whistle. Oh, no, let's just grab a pony. I hate truffles. <laughs> Man, you want to go outside. You can go outside with me, naughty pony. Oh, he's like, I'll teach you. You can't steer me when I go this fast. You're right, mate, but we'll both end up in the drink. Then we're going to be in trouble. Duante, can I please have a barn? Like a, a small barn to start with. Build. We're going to call it the baby animal barn. Yes. We're going to put it right here. And Duante... Oh no, that's right. He won't he won't he won't build me another barn like an expansion till I pay that one off. So let's gallop. Quick as we'll head all the way back up over to here. Boom. No mail today? No, there we go. Yesterday my I had an overly stuffed mailbox. You borrowed it from Valerie. 
Oh, do you know what? I know, you're, you're awesome, Ash. Let's pay off our debt, because we've got to do this pretty quick. There we go. Uh, let's go and buy ourselves another barn. So basically, if you don't have any, any outstanding monies, you can build yourself a barn. Um, and then owe the money to the bank. There's no way of actually paying it up front. So uh, if you want to do what I'm about to do, which is to upgrade it straight away into a large barn. Of course I don't. How many, how many large plank things do I need? A hundred. You know what? I don't think it matters. Let's see if we can get to the don't be helpful truffles. <laughs> it's like, okay, I won't. Let's see if we can get all the way. I don't think we can, but we're going to try. We're going to see if we can get all the way to our um, our storage shed. We don't have to go in the yard to do this. Boom. Okay. And. I know. Let's go. We'll just see if Dante will very nicely build me a barn if I can catch him in time. So yes, yeah, so you've also got to have enough for both. So it's 150 to go from small barn uh, to big barn. And you just got to make sure no one's, you know, underneath your barn when you put it down. Otherwise, thanks, Duante. Otherwise, it'd be really hard to do. All right, so we don't need any more chicken houses because we have enough chickens. And there are no duckies, so we're good. So all right, look, I think we caught Duante in the nick of time there. I know, I've got to go and do my delivery. So it looks like we're not going up to Deer, Lake Deer uh, tonight. Wow, you guys didn't waste any time moving in, did you? Now, why did I come back here for? Because I wanted to put the timber in back in the shed. That's why. There we go. Sort that up. Those are normal eggs. I should have stuffed those in the fridge while I was there. And I haven't seen what Kane's been up to either. I also should check and see what uh, what I have for the museum. All right, a few things. Yeah, we might we might make a gallop. Uh, can we get there by eight? We can if we don't take the tuk tuk, because the pony is now quicker. Whoops! 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 <laughs> Alrighty, down to here where we've got this corner, and. Bisect the corner and just head straight this way. If you're having trouble navigating, this is one of the ways I do it so I don't get lost. Ah, no. Oops. And kind of try and hold a steady course and you'll make it to the back of the museum in under an hour if your horse is at a certain number of hearts. Um, which we'll have a look at once we've dropped off everything in our backpack to the museum. It was on my list, I just wasn't going to do it. And you can always slide through this little gap right here. Meaning you don't have to run all the way around the back. And as long as we're here before 20 hundred, the very nice Evan will let us donate everything in our pack. Thanks, Evan. Alrighty, how, how many hearts does the pony have for you f to run that fast? Well, whoops, J. Animal Journey, Journal, Truffles is currently on all the hearts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hearts. So he is a ten heart pony. That is as fast as he's ever going to go. But we're not doing too badly with the others. Okay, until you get down to here. Aloysius doesn't think much of me, and that's because I, oh, I keep telling him off when he digs up Tyrannosaurus Rex bones. Smokey is nearly a ten heart horse. All right, so we should have a good chance of getting some special baby animals when we breed. Because our hearts are up. I, I'm not sure if that actually has an effect. But anyway. Let's go and see if we can find. Um, I know we're so close to the, the mines. We could go mining. But actually what I want to do is go out to Spoonie Island. And see if we can get oops, the rest of the, um, the flowers for Kaishan. And maybe get that task off our, um, off our thing. Now we should be. Yeah, see, they're around the back of the museum. I know we just did a huge loop because I was too lazy to, you know, go cross country. But 
uh, we are... Okay, I know I touched the map. There we are. Let's just close our map. So we're just going to kind of go in this general direction <laughs> till we get to this path. And there you can see the sea already, so we're just going to ride straight out toward it. You can actually see the island from here, and it gets you just near the bridge. So you can get around quite quickly once you <laughs> once you remember how to navigate where you need to go. Um, which I have to say is a little bit easier said than done. So we're just going to go all the way up the back here. It's snowing. Yes. It doesn't snow where I live. I love seeing it in games. Be because... I don't get it where I am. Alrighty, so we're just going to pick up this Pride of Madeira. We're probably a little bit late to catch Kaishan though. Let's see how many we've got. Beep be doo 12. And I think we only needed 10, didn't we? Yes. Alright, we've done 10. Now Duante, oh we haven't. Oh no, Rosewood. Okay, we're going to get Rosewood for Duante. That's his next level quest, isn't it? Yeah. Alrighty. Steal for Clara. She wants 20, doesn't she? And we're at 14. So we've seen six more for her. So that's Lake Deer. So tomorrow morning, we're going to go out to Lake Deer. Tuna sandwich. Masika. And I know. It's, oh, and today was Saturday and I completely forgot to go to the markets. Don't, you know what? If you guys weren't watching, I would be really tempted to start the day again and not forget this time. Because <laughs> you can do that. Um, maybe. Actually, no, you can't. That's another game entirely I'm thinking of. What am I on today? Oh, they took the collision off the tent. That's pretty good. All right, let's get this little character home. We're going to give her an early night, so don't die of shock. Uh, we're just going to take her back this way. Through the trees. There used to be a, like a road that curved around the back here. There isn't anymore. Uh oh, I got stuck. Ah, uh, hmm. Okay, fine. We'll just go around. Do, you're going to make me get off? No, you're not going to make me get off the pony. <laughs> fine. Oh, where are we? We're at the back of Wahoo Beach. Here we go. I know, riding through town like an absolute lunatic. And I'm lost again. Oops, that's my house. There we go. Look at this. Whole new barn. Uh, you guys should be going to bed now. Go on, Truffles. You show them where. There better not be a cow inside my house again. And we're going to watch our telly. Boom. Catch our cooking recipes. Guava jam, uh huh. Thank you, Tucker. Alrighty. Uh, uh, you know, I like this bed. I don't like this light blue wallpaper, though. I'm going to have to change it. All right, we will sleep. So I'm thinking uh, what we'll do is we're going to go up to Lake Deer. I know, look at this. I've got an absolute bounty of cake for breakfast. We, we should, no, no, we should not eat the cake for breakfast. <laughs> 6 a.m., Oh no, I stuffed the television in my backpack. Get back on that table. I know, it's fine. We'll just remember to turn it round. Here we go. Let's try that trick again. This time we won't pick it up. This time we will check the cooking channel. Corn chowder soup. Hello and welcome to the Haku Cooking Show. Today let's make some corn chowder. All you need is one corn, one buttermilk, one milk, sorry, one butter, one milk and one Italian seasoning. It doesn't look very appetizing, but it's really good for you. <laughs> it tastes good though. It does. Uh, right, I know. We're going now. I'm not going to let myself be distracted by anything today. Okay, except Kane. Hi, Kane. I see. You've returned, hummingbird. This is for you. I have no need of such things. I got this for you. Maybe you can donate it to the museum. 
I made some lunch for you today. It's tuna melt. I fished some mahi-mahi for you today. This man can fish fish out of season. He is magic, I tell you. Dear, please do not push yourself too hard, dear. I worry about you when you're not home. I like living here on the farm. It is very similar to the ranch. Even the smells, haha. <laughs> I've no further use for you today. Well, yes you do, because you have not eaten your ham sandwich. Come here. Cane. Boom. <laughs> I know, right? And, and you know, I don't know what he does with these ham and cheese sandwiches. Because I swear, I'm not sure I'd be game to eat them. Uh, but anyway, let us head on up to Lake Deer. We're going to go straight up to the uh, the maze. Boom. Let's go traveling. Yes. I know I've got my fingers crossed for these baby animals to arrive. Let's whistle up a pony and see which one of them. Smoky, you poor girl. Um, which one of them was closer? Where did I? Lake Deer. I know. I shouldn't be here. I actually meant to go to... Anyway, that's fine. We're going to go and check out... Well, seeing as we're here, we'll check out the um, steel potential. Steel is a white rock. Where is my pick? There it is. Let's go. Yes. All right. This is... Um, if you're ever at Diamond Falls and this is like your starting town... Yeah, ignore what I did with uh, with Bailey, I I because I did not know these were actually they weren't up here when I started. We are going to have to start a new character in this area one day. I know one day you guys have to vote. By the way, on um, what the location is going to be for the full release series because all of the series that you've seen so far have been um series that started in early access and went to full release. We need pie. We're just going to leave the pony standing. Let's eat the blackberry pie. So uh, yeah, so basically I just need six raw steel. Um, we need to do a full release series like I do for, for the games that I play. I like to finish the early access series if I can, but um, then I like to do a full release series. And seeing as we've got We've got four, four towns. We've got Diamond Falls. Aha, two more raw steel. We'll have this mission done in no time. Zinc. Seeing as we've got Diamond Falls, Pumpkin Vale, and Wahoo Beach as starting towns. So I'm going to have to finish Bailey's series. So basically, we'll finish Bailey's series. Uh, I'll try and get Greta's series finished as well. And then we'll do a full release series. And you guys can vote on what you'd like to see in that full release series. I've got one vote, I think, from Silly Sally for Pumpkin, Pumpkin Vale Start. Uh, but, yeah, vote's not closed yet. Alrighty, have we managed to pick up six raw steel and got our 20? Yes. Alrighty, this is steel for Clara. And we need 20, so we now have her steel. Um... That's Rosewood. We're not going to go Rosewood hunting today. I'll just whistle up my pony. She should be not too far away. Now, we're not going to ride all the way back. We're just going to actually take a bit of a... Sh oh, you know. Look, it'll be as long this way as it is the other way. We're just going to take a shortcut. Um, in. So if you ever start in Diamond Falls and uh, you think that... Like, you can have the, the plot out by the lake if you want... But the other option that you can have is the play the, the the plot that's really close to the um the back of the town where the animal farm is because you can get home pretty quick from your fishing um once you get a pony that can run fast enough. So okay, that's that's our steel mission done and it answers our question that yes the steel is very good out near Lake Deer at Diamond Falls, which is important to know because steel, I think, has the same value as gold when it comes to making tools. So it's um, you can cover as much ground with a steel watering can as you can with a gold one. Not iron, iron or cover less. Alrighty, 
so we want to go and collect that chest that was out near um out near stalagnites we'll go do that first just zippity doodah this way i love this plateau up here it's huge gorgeous and look at the view okay we're gonna look at the view without look at that there's pumpkin vale over here and there's wahoo beach over here that looks like a maze doesn't it oh yeah that would be that'd be the maze on the hill because that's that's the museum over there ha oh, ha cool there's the swamp and the witch's house i love it i just i like the the fact you can see I just go this way the fact you can see everything okay i'm i'm wrong maybe oh no and that that is um spoony island now spoony island can't be a starting place so if you guys decide you want to see a series with the characters set in spoony island you're going to have to pick a starting point for me so that i've got a town to start from that we're not going to stay in okay but um that will be a choice for for a full release series of pumpkin days let me know a if you're interested because uh, we've we've done three four series on it now but let me know if you're interested in a full release series where everything that's in it now is actually in it at the start and uh, let me know which town you'd like to see zora and or not zora whatever character end up in now i just gotta try and remember where i left that chest I know right do 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 there it is let's go dig it up we might actually grab the um wow that is a good prize right these chests are random too so even if you come and find that one you're not guaranteed getting a meteor axe in it Alrighty. Well, am I still pied up? No, I'm not still pied up. Because once you get on the tuk-tuk, you tend to lose your right, your speed advantages. Uh, all right, now I'm lost. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, just chuck it down in the... Oops, that was a butterfly. I should have tried to catch that because I don't think I've got that for the museum. Let's see if we can find another one. And I don't have my super duper bug net either that some of my other characters have. What is that? Aha. Uh -huh. So ah, there we go. Let's uh let's it's an ultimate bug net, it's pretty good. Let's see if we can catch ourselves a super duper rare butterfly. Cause that's gonna go into the museum. It'll be one of those things we haven't put in yet. Yes. Alrighty. They're a nice butterfly. We'll just pocket that net. Yeah. Ah. All right. Zippity do that this way. I know I just made myself sick. Sorry if, if you guys got motion Oops. sickness out of that. Let's catch ourselves another one. I don't know what we're going to do. We, didn't, we don't have a butterfly house. I wonder if we can place them. We'll have to find out. It's almost like it wants to be caught, isn't it? I know I think it's getting dark again do we want to do a maze in the dark we might want to do a maze in the dark or I can take Zora home and we can try for a third day this episode now ah, uh, I was gonna say Grammy D said I had Stalignite's favorite thing in my bag and I was gonna say let's look and see what's in there and then I remember that I cleaned it out so I don't think we have Stalignite's favourite thing in our backpack anymore. Hmm. That's okay. Because um, I was going to experiment. I better not experiment on him with a butterfly net. I don't think he'll like that. Let's just say hi. Hi, Stalignite. <laughs> Gets me every time. Okay. I don't think. <laughs> Leave, he roars. And then you get a friendship of plus two with him. That that Stalignite does not know what he wants, does he? 
He doesn't really want to be left alone, but he doesn't want you around either. Man, and they say girls are hard to please. All right. I think, why don't we at least find the entrance to the maze and then we might head for home and uh, and take another early night. I know, what is it with these early nights? Whistle up my pony, because I better not leave her there. I mean, who knows what Stalignite eats? It could be ponies. It probably isn't ponies, but anyway. It's down there. I know, she's such a good pony, this one. Oh, okay. It's basically just the um, the thing. I love the sun, the sun, sunsets in here. I was going to say the satellites. And then I was going to say the sunlights. Uh, and for some reason, my words just aren't working. Which is one of the reasons I've taken a break from my wording for the minute. <laughs> because my words are not working. Alrighty, it's pretty dark. Screen-wise. But let's uh, let's quickly zippity do that. Whoops, this way. Actually, we don't want to go up there, do we? Oh, we definitely don't want to go down there. That's that'd be bad. All right, no, we do want to go up here. Ha! Oh, there we go. What does that say? Meteor Lake. All right, we do have a little bit of time, and you know what? There's no scorpions at this altitude to um. Yeah, to have a go at us. So we'll uh. We'll hack our way through this boulder because also you can't get to the lake without it but there, I don't think there's anything um, particularly special in there that isn't in every other lake so it's it's no stress if you decide you don't want to run the maze up here unless they changed it which is possible because they did some nice tweaking alrighty There's the thing. Let's hack that one. I know, right? We just zip zip through here. I think Zora's been pretty lucky with the chests too. I don't think she's had, you know, a, a ton of ants or spiders. Or She has had rubber tires, I think, at one point. But they're not bad because you can recycle them for two $20 vouchers each. All right, I'm just curious to see if there's anything else that's hackable in here. Okay, I wonder if that's hackable. Is that a hackable boulder? No, that's a don't hit me boulder. All right, fine. I know, now I'm getting very, very distracted. So if you were doing this with normal pickaxes, like gold pickaxes, you'd need... I'd say bring four or five just to get them through. There we go. Alrighty, let's um let's try and be methodical about this. She says getting lost. Okay, and is it dark? It is dark. <laughs> The pony's just at the other end going, you crazy human, what do you think you're doing? Alrighty, so we're going to zip in here. Seems we opened it, we might as well look. Because there should be exciting things like chests in them. Every now and again. Ten giant hairy scorpions. <laughs> Oh man, I, I remember a time very early in development when you would get excited <laughs> about the chests because there was almost guaranteed to be something really good in there like gold bars or a ton of meteorite, but they were often unbalancing so they changed it. I, I don't know, I like it. I like the quirkiness of the fact that you know you can spend all this effort digging up a chest and it may just have scorpions in it. Makes me laugh. Because it gets a little bit wearing if you, you know, dig up 20 of them and you get, yeah, not good stuff. Oh, does this maze just cries out for something in it some days? You know, one day I'm going to come in, there's going to be a surprise update and there's going to be something in here that we don't expect.
I mean, knowing our luck, it'll be a, a giant hairy spider that doesn't feel the cold. Um, or something, a mysterious snowman. That'd be funny. They, oh, wait, 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 wait. I was going to say there used to be more in here. And yes, yes, there did. It's just cunningly hidden from blind people like me. I like her little bear's ears though. They're kind of cute. They put a lot of cute clothing in this game. So if you're into cute clothing and cute costumes for your characters, don't forget this one. Um, then it's a good game. I know, I was going to go home early and come back in the morning. Eh, it's okay. This is what we came to explore, the maze at, at the top of um, Diamond Falls. We got the, kai the Kaishans for flowers, the flowers for Kaishan. Let me just whistle my pony. I know, one day it's going to say she's not coming. Oh, wait. Let's not get on the pony yet. That looks exciting. Because she's taken herself all the way back to Wahoo Beach and the stables. Rum. <laughs> this should be emeralds. Maybe. No, unpolished pranite. Oh, Smokey, help me get through the maze. It's times like these. Oh, wait, I can get through here too. All right, I don't think we've got time for all of this, but we will we'll make time for the chests. It's times like this that I wish I had a, a house up here because you could just kind of, you know, zip home. Black beets, one black beet. That's actually a special seed. If we turned into two seeds, we can get multiple black beets. Did I... Aha, we found the lake. Uh-oh, now I've got to get home. I don't know if I'm going to make it home. Oh. You used to be able to run around the edge. Cool. I know, I love it when they change stuff around. Sometimes, man, now I can't get into there. <laughs> wow. I know, it's been a long time since I came up here. I try and remember to do it with each of my characters because it's just such a little exciting nook to come in and I have not explored it properly so um, there's plenty for you guys to discover in here. Oh man, I am lost by the way. Oh, that's my way out, okay. Oh okay, this this is the... Oh, what's that? I, I, you know I'm going to end up at the docks, don't you? Hey, 20 polished diamonds. That kind of makes up for all the polished diamonds that I accidentally shipped that time. <laughs> I was being mega, mega good and cleaning up my backpack. I don't remember this one. Uh oh. All right. Uh, all right. Now I'm just going to try and go home and then we might come back in the morning. Oh, there we go. Uh, we can take the shortcut. If there is one. That looks promising. Actually, there's a river in between here and there. So maybe maybe it's not that promising. Alright, so we're going to take a shortcut. We're going to go... Because we can probably just go straight down, actually. Maybe not straight down there. That would be not so good. Man, if I fall off... Wait, wait, wait. That would probably be a bad idea. Radio. I know. Mr. Impatient here is just going to have to wander. Miss Impatient. Oh, that was close. Because you can end up in the water here. All right, it's going to be two hours to get home. We got up really, really early and I didn't bring any coffee with me, I don't think. So uh, we could be in trouble. Let us... At least the Dee Dee, the tuk-tuks don't stop working like the Dee Dee's in... Um, in Porsche. 
I, I like that I can catch a tuk-tuk at any time of night and I can be guaranteed getting home in Porsche. <laughs> there are times when you're just stuck. There we go. Good pony. But let's grab our cooking recipe before it becomes 6 a.m. That is Thai. Alrighty. And I think we'll go to bed. We do have time for one more day, so we will do one more day. Okay. That's right, I'm looking at my at my list. We've actually done gone through everything I wrote down I wrote down. So if I've forgotten to do something, uh let me know. Grilled apple sandwich. Actually, that would be really nice. Apple, bread, and cheese. I used to have apple and cheese sandwiches. Did I sleep it? I slept in, that's why. I know they're all crowded around my one feed container. Maybe I should buy another feed container too. Although while they're there, they'd be really easy to pat, wouldn't they? I'll just have to put my shovel away. Because I know you can pat them with a shovel, but it's probably better not to. You know, they all pooped in one tiny area. That is pretty cool too. All right, most of them pooped in that little tiny area. And the other thing we should check is we should check how full that feeder is because I have a feeling we could be running out soon. Hi Truffles. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Let us, that chicken goes outside, stay in the rhubarb. Wow. Oh, okay. He's been talking to the cat and the dog as well. Alrighty. Ten hairy scorpions, man. All right, we can put them all away. The only thing we need to keep on us is one pride flower and one pride butterfly. So let us ship not all of them. Fine, let's ship one and we'll ship that one. No, not the control. Okay, shift left click. We're going to just, hopefully Ash won't open this container because if he does, he's going to give himself heart failure. Um, radio. We didn't dig up any more fossils, so all of these can go. So can the orange office desk. Did I pull that out of my house? Uh, I might just hang on to that in case I did. The black beet needs to go in. Did that beetle not come up as a thing? No, okay, so we must have already, oh, it's a red velvet ant, that's why. We have definitely donated one of those before. Radio, uh, left shift and hold, right, left shift, right click. Radio, there we go. If you're curious, cookie ice cream, by the way, sells for 500G. And uh, we now have the recipe to make that, which is one of the reasons we were doing all of that um, making of... Wow, this beehive is keen, isn't it? Uh, all the making of the honey, not the honey... All, all the vanilla grinding that we were doing. Let's just feed these animals before they start to starve. They'll be very upset otherwise. There we go. Glowing mushroom seeds. We'll hang on to those. Where, where's my black beet? I'll drop that in there. So one, one thing will give us two seeds. Yes. I love it. Actually, we should have done that with some of those too. That's okay. We might do that later. It's not too late to go pull it out. I just can't be bothered. Alrighty. Let us be keeping that. I'm going to put the polished amber over there and then I'm going to check my missions and see if I actually had a mission for polished amber. Uh, let's just zoot all that up. We'll put the diamonds in there before I do something stupid with them, like ship them. Up. <laughs> oh dear. Alrighty, what's that? The raw iron can go in there as well. I suppose I should put my um my jam thing away. We might do that. 
Uh, which one was jam? That one. So we want to put this right here. Alrighty. And I have a wooden crate that should probably go somewhere. Yet, I know, we'll just go stack it over here with the others. I know, it's going to make it awkward to get later, but at least it's in a nice neat column and I, I know where it is. Okay, that's looking better. Did I actually fill my quota too? We should check that. Yes, everything's done for the shipping quota. Oh, whose birthday is it? Meredith. And Melanie. Where are we yet? We're there. All right. We will deliver four deliveries and then we might start looking for some of the others. And we might breed some more animals because we can. Head into the back door of Doc's. Hi, Doc Govind. How are you doing? Thanks for putting up with all my random pet care trivia. There's just so much information people really need to know. Uh, no one's sick. Breed the animals. Kojimu. Kojimu needs another girlfriend if we're going to do that. All right, what about no, we're not breeding the chickens. Truffles is already has already bred with... Yep, so that's fine. Arnold, did Arnold? Arnold and Bill, there we go. Let's see if we can get ourselves some rainbow sheep. 18 days, so nine, nine, six to nine episodes before we see baby sheep. <laughs> Alrighty. Anyone else? Jarrett and Millie. Let's see if we can find ourselves a chocolate cow. All right, is that everybody? Yes. You know, I, I was going to say it's like there's some animals missing and that would be because all of the girl animals are pregnant and therefore not available for breeding. All right, let's go visit Kane, give him his sandwich. I know I'm looking to see if like that's a that is such a pretty cow. Why don't we? It's a it's a boy cow though. I'm just thinking we we tend to be is that that's a girl, but let's no let's just cancel out of that. Alrighty, let's give this man a ham and cheese sandwich. Uh, thank you, Kane. I have some lunch for you today. It's lemon and fish. I watered the crops for you today. I don't know what to say, hummingbird. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Please do not push yourself too hard, dear. Wow. You know what? I, I think he may nag almost as much as Dr. Zhu. Oh, no. Actually, that's not possible. Masika, how you doing? You're so sweet, Zora, for helping me out with so many of my odd requests all this time. I don't know what I'd do without you, friend. Oh, uh, do you have any poppy beans? No. Alrighty, we're going to go do our deliveries. Have a nice day. So we've done a little bit of farming. We've done a little bit of animal breeding. Actually, we've done very little farming. We've done some exploring, though. Now we're just going to grab those errands that we need to do. <laughs> Smokey's like, I don't feel like being ridden today, girl. Sorry, Smokester. Valerie should be in the schoolroom. Hopefully she won't drop any more hints about children. That is something we can do though. Now that we're married, we could we could we could uh, do the children thing. Maybe one or two though, not half a hundred. What do you reckon? So, that will require some crafting. Oh, good. <laughs> Let's count together how many items are in your reward. That lady needs a class. 
Valerie? Never mind. <laughs> I know. All right, let's uh, let's go talk to Manaka and we'll see if she mentions the delivery being late. I don't think she notices, to be honest. Oh, uh, that's Melanie. That's okay. Phew. Manaka's the doctor. What am I on? I'm on. I can't remember your name today. That's what it is. Okay. Manaka may already be on. Actually, no. She'll be at the library this time of day. What am I thinking? I know. I should stop ignoring the little diamond at the top of the screen. After work, Manaka visits the library. Hi. I was wondering when you'd be back. Please take this. What's wrong? How can I help you, child? Remember, my child, we have an uncanny ability to convince ourselves of subjective truths. Sometimes the positives come only when you choose to believe they're there. What's wrong? I thought if I put a little bell on the clinic door, Rashida wouldn't be so startled when a patient walked in. Oh, turns out even the bell startled her as well. Poor thing. It's always a pleasure speaking with you, but I should not keep you. Alrighty, who's next? Pride of Madeira for Kaishan. He's sometimes... Oh no, is he upstairs or on the beach? No, 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 it's Govind who's upstairs. It's Kaishan who's on the beach. Usually talking to Jabala. Let's go find him. We'll just take the shortcut. That's the shortest way to the beach from the library. We'll just head on over here. We will not mow him down with the horse. Hi, Kaishan. Oh, so that's what they look like. Ha, huh, I didn't know there were flowers out there I hadn't heard of before. Here, I had this little present made just for you the other day. No special occasion, just a gift from one gorgeous person to another. You wouldn't happen to have any mangoes on your farm, would you? I've been meaning to send mango jam to my mum, but I haven't been able to find any. If you have the time, would you make some mango jam for me? I'll teach you some sewing patterns if you do. Sure. I can't wait. Thanks. No worries. Hi, Jabala. I've been checking at the market and with Masika, but they're always sold out by the time I get there. Oh, I'm talking about mangoes, little mouse. I've been wanting to make some mango curry lately, but I cannot find the mangoes. They sell out so fast. Do you grow any mangoes on your farm? If you grow them or find any at the market, can you bring some for me? Yes, thank you so much, Sora. I know I can always count on you. So I guess if you're looking at making friendships in Wahoo Beach. Okay, one mango jam. Five mangoes. You know, we might be able to do that. In the meantime, though, I think we might have missed Clara this episode, but let's go see if we can find her. Heaven knows that woman has waited long enough for her steal. Oh no, there she is. Hi. These are some real good steel ores. This will be perfect. You did good, hot stuff. That's a nice reward too. Uh, I'm sorry I don't have much to give you. I pretty much use all my extra ores and bars for my project. Oh, I know what I can give you. Maybe this tool will come in handy if you don't have one already. It's cool of you to always come see me, hot stuff. <clears throat> I get super sweaty from being around the forge all day. I hope I'm not too gross. Sometimes I get little trinkets from Jacqueline for what she finds while beachcombing. They're always totally useless, but it's real sweet of her. I need to return a VHS tape belonging to Melanie. Can you return it? Sure. Thanks. Pocket that. Sup, Zora? Where's your favourite place to fish, Gromit? Oh, the ocean. That's what I'm talking about. You can't beat the ocean. Jounce is super sketchy, Gromit. If they move in, I bet the fishing won't be the same. There's no way that factory they want to build isn't going to pollute like crazy. Okay. Uh, Jacqueline. I was going to try and catch up with Jacqueline and check and see if we had a chicken feeder in her in her inventory, but um, that's fine. Oh, another impossible order from someone on the mainland. They're asking me to make this marble table for them, but the design is really complex. Not to mention, I don't have any marble on hand. Can't these people just ask for simple furniture, wooden furniture like the rest of us? Jeez. Anyways, I've been having issues getting marble. Do me a favour, Puddin. If you come across any marble, will you save some for me? Yeah, sure, Jacqueline. 
You really get all that marble for me? Yeah. Thank you so much. I think about 10 marble blocks should do. No worries. I love it. We should go poke everybody, but it's uh, 918. So what I'm going to do is... Is that poop? Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore what my pony left on the beach. Just for a minute. I know. I'm not a responsible horse owner. Shh. Good girl, Smokey. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we're going to go. It's got to be nearly 18 days since we since the last lot of calves, isn't it? It's Pat, Millie. No, no, Pat. Pat, there we go. Pretty sure um, Kane has already has already cuddled ramekin has already collected the milk so we'll uh, we'll just pat everybody today i know that's a very happy goat oh you know what i forgot we don't have a chicken feeder i should maybe feed my chickens before they get sick if it's not too late already because i have kind of not fed them for three days I know, because I keep forgetting I haven't got a chicken feeder. <laughs> oh no, it just takes a little bit to get used to it once. Uh... All right, I'm just going to grab these eggs before these hens arrive. Uh, and that way, that way they'll um, not sit on them when I'm trying to clear up. I know, I just want to feed them too. There we go. All right. All right, so hopefully they won't be sick. Otherwise, we'll have to just cure them tomorrow. Big rooster does not want to be cuddled. Too bad, rooster. All righty, we're going to look for marble and marble blocks for Jacqueline. Let's just sort this. Granite blocks. So marble blocks is the process then. That's what I thought. Okay, so we have the marble blocks for Jacqueline. Right. What else do we need? Mangoes and mango jam. Let's go see if we've actually got any mangoes in the fridge. I, I, I'm hoping, but I'm not sure if I actually end up planting some. And I haven't got around to planting my orchard down at um, in the jungle plot yet. I should do that too. I like that plot for, for orcharding. We could move all our jam stuff down there and maybe maybe just ship everything from out of out of that area. All right, definitely not there. Hmm. You know what? The quickest way to work out if we have mangoes isn't actually to go through every fridge. It's to have a look at the jam recipes. Gee, I'm missing a few, aren't I? I was going to say, it's to have a look at the jam recipes, find the mango jam, and okay, it's not there. Fine. All right, in that case, the quickest way of finding out if we have mangoes is really to go through all the fridges. There they are. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab these mangoes, we're going to go into our baking fridge, we're going to grab the sugar. And if you ever have a, um, a fruit that you don't have a recipe for, for jam for, and you want to make it, just go into the jam section, highlight some of the other recipes. So apple jam needs two apples and two sugars. Ditto with apricot, two apricots, two sugars. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to grab, we're going to experiment and we're going to use two of whatever fruit we don't have them for. You know what, I don't think I have blackberry here either. And um, two of whatever sugars. So we're just going to basically go experiment. Now take it out of your backpack inventory and not the fridge inventory or you'll end up with an entire stack in there and you won't be a happy bunny when you lose it. But if you take it out of your backpack inventory, it'll automatically just take one. And then we're just going to cook it. And there we go. Now when we go into our recipe book, under jam, we should now have mango jam. I'm just going to have a quick look for blackberry because we don't have any blackberry. I don't think we've got any blueberry. I haven't made the passion fruit jam. Let's cook one of those. We're going to turn that recipe green. Radio. Now we've cooked that one. I know it's it's um 
it's the goal, remember, to cook all of the recipes. Apple jam, let's cook some of that. Alright, let's try again. There we go. Apple jam is now cooked. We're so good. You know what, too? If we ship this jam, we should start getting some of our missing jam recipes. Alrighty, let's have a look. So we've got guava jam. So just because you can get the jam maker to make you jam does not mean you'll get the recipe for it. You actually have to make the jam at the um, at the stove in order to get the recipe. Radio. So we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jams. Ooh, it's not quite midnight yet. What have we got in here? Peach. Do we have a peach jam recipe? Yes. Alrighty. We've done passion fruit. Papaya, I don't think, makes jam. Orange doesn't make jam. It should, could it be? Kumquat. I think we've got a kumquat jam recipe. Just move this over a little bit. There we go. Grab jam. Yeah, we've done kumquat jam. Now, I keep saying it. I can't remember if I've actually made it because banana jam is, is a thing in this game. No, it has been made, so we're good. All right, so that covers all of the fruit in that fridge. There shouldn't be any fruit in this fridge. Oops. Do we have orange jam? Have we made that? Yes. See, there's so orange jam in this game. Uh, pomegranate jam. I don't think that's a thing, is it? I've said this before and been really surprised. Lime. Lime and coconut. And blueberries. Okay, let's let's go blueberries. Coconut. Lime. Those are light cheese, aren't they? Light cheese. And I'll grab the pomegranates out, but I don't think we're going to be in any luck. Alrighty. So blueberries I know we don't have. Let's just... Alright, let's try that trick again. Right, experiment. One blueberry, two blueberry. Where's my sugar? One sugar, two sugar. That recipe has changed. Radio, that's our new recipe. There. Let us go with our coconut. Oh, well, we'll check to see if we've got it first. Yeah, we've already made it. Don't stop worry about that then. And we won't worry about lime. And we won't worry about pomegranate. That's all jammed, jammed up. That's good. I'll just try not to put those back in the fish fridge. We'll just see if we can. Okay, that's why they're in the fish fridge, isn't it? There we go. What else we got? Is it? Yeah, it's getting late. Do we have strawberry jam? There's our blackberries. I'm pretty sure we didn't have blackberries and I can't remember if we had strawberries. Let's start. Let's just check that out. So blackberries, I said, right. Come here. I know I let go of the mouse button. All right. Now we've made blackberry jam, so we should have that recipe. Let's have a look for strawberries. We might already have done it. Yes, we have. Let's not waste our strawberries then. Just drop those back in there. Oh, raspberries. I didn't don't recall seeing raspberry jam. Let's see if we have, have it. Yes, we do. Alrighty. Just drop those back in. We're good. Pretty sure there's no hazelnut. Oh, wait, there might be hazelnut spread, though. Which I think is 
We already have made that though. It's hazelnuts and um, and cocoa powder and sugar. I think it's under yeah, it's chocolate spread. There we go. One, two, one. Why good. Alrighty. So I guess that just means we need to go through our fridge and, and discover what else we haven't turned into jam yet. But I'm thinking it's getting pretty late. It's not too late to go ship it though. Let's go ship it. So we've got our marble blocks, our mango jam, and our mangoes for the three new missions we got. So we can actually clear those, to, not tomorrow, but next episode. Uh, there's our axe. We keep the mango jam, passion fruit jam, apple jam, guava jam, blueberry jam, blackberry jam. Alrighty. And that's that, guys. On that note, I am going to leave you. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. And if you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe. And I'll check you later. Take care out there.